Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to identify terms and coefficients. Let's remember that a monomial is a number, a variable, or a product of numbers and variables. That means to say that if we have something like 5, 5 is a constant, but it's also uh, a monomial. 5 times the value of x, or simply just plain x. All three of these are monomials. Um, Terms are monomials that are added added together to form a polynomial. I have seen some definitions of terms say they're separated by plus or minus signs, yeah, but in this one we're going to say separated by plus signs. Coefficients of a term are simply the number part. So if I had the term 5x, then 5 would be your coefficient. Let's look at an example. What is the coefficient of m? Well, m is your term in the middle here. So what is the coefficient will simply be the number multiplied to it. Let's notice that that's plus 4m, so it's positive 4. Okay, Which of the following terms are, are terms in this expression? Select all that apply. Well, 1 is a term, and positive 4t is a term. So if 4t is here, um, and one is not. Now remember this is two terms so that wouldn't count as a one term. Okay, this one it says what is the coefficient of r squared? Okay, there's not a number in front of the r so it defaults to one so we say the coefficient is one. What is the coefficient of k? Well here's the k. The number in front of the k would be positive two. So we put 2. How many terms are there in this polynomial? Well, terms are separate plus or minus sign. Let's recall that when it says minus, technically we switch, switch. That's the same thing as negative. So this is a term. Here's another plus sign, so it's a term following it. Here's another plus sign, so it's another term. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Which of the following are terms in this expression? Again, they're separated by plus signs. Some people say plus or minus signs. The only thing you have to remember, which says minus, we have to keep it as a negative. So, S is not there. QR squared is not there. 9ST is. 8T to the third U is also. So these two are listed. How many terms are there? Separate by plus or minus signs? One, two. There are two terms. How many terms are there in this polynomial? One here, one here, but again, remember that you have to keep the minus sign as a negative sign, but there are two terms here. Which of the following are terms in this expression? 7 is a term and positive 4j is a term. 7 is listed and so is 4j. Thank you. I hope this video helps. Goodbye.